And from my perception, from the questions that I've done to uh, um, people in the registry, Seth is usually the, the authority that takes longer to reply. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it is them then. <laughs> okay. they still have a bit of the blame for the time that the process takes to uh, to be solved. Yeah. Oh, bless them. All re roads lead back <laughs> to them, don't they? And it's it it. unfortunate, isn't it? Because I think when you work for an authority that receives so much criticism, the problem with that, of course, is that people can give up. So we do need to have a little bit of a thought of love and compassion, I think, for Seth, don't we? Because otherwise they'll just be resigned and resentful and there will be no light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully the reorganisation will help with that, Daniel. Well, I, I'm hopeful that with this new uh, authority that is going to be created or that exists already in paper, but that, that will be operating in a, in a few months, hopefully around October, that the, the CEF situation will improve. Um, my perspective is that CEF employees are underpaid um, and they are not motivated because they, 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 there's a lot of uncertainty in the air. They yep. know that they will keep their jobs. They won't be fired, but they may be moved to some other branch in the, the Portuguese state. So there's a lot of turmoil on that. And I, I do understand their frustration. I fully do. And what is um, what, what's been happening with the the, the Portuguese um, uh, uh, with the Portuguese uh, minimum wage is that the minimum wage, fortunately, has been increasing substantially in the last 10, 15 years. But the problem with this is that the the mid range salaries in the public sector were not uh, increased. Around 20 to uh, 25 years ago, an inspector from SEF or from the, the Policia Judiciaria, our investigative uh, police, would earn minimum, uh, uh, as a starting point, five times the minimum wage. Now they earn around twice that. And, wow. and th this does not motivate people to um, uh, uh, to uh, proceed, proceed with their careers or even to go into the public service because th they know that they will not be um, paid or compensated properly. And even the progression in the careers has been stalled for quite a long time. So they are indeed unmotivated. And I do understand the reasons that they are unmotivated, but this creates havoc for people and for clients and for foreigners that want to establish themselves here in Portugal. That's that's a harsh reality. I do understand that, but that's a really helpful insight into what's actually going on behind the scenes. So thank you for that. And we, you know, human to human, we should perhaps spare a thought and be a little bit more compassionate to those people yeah. um, rather than just, you know, having a, the, the, uh, the, difficulties and resentments that people tend to have and it's a set piece isn't it it's like you know blaming the other people and and the, yeah. and the bad service <laughs> and everything and something is lost in the human to human connection with that so thank you for that daniel appreciate right. that let's stay with you because Alison has a question for you about estate law and wills 